Son Tommy arrived today. Do you wish to see him? One chance at a time is enough. No more murder for me. And you wish to see me about, uh... Well, I was going to ask you to help me. Helping people is the chance specialty. What's your trouble? It's about a murder. Murder? Why, that's a special specialty. Was expecting to meet Sun here. He has arrived. Oh, but definitely, Mr. Chan. Definitely. The police couldn't solve it. Hmm. So what? It'll be duck soup for a Chan. And why are you here? Pop, I got a case that will knock your hat off. Can remove hat without assistance. Thank you. Uh, excuse. Wish to speak with you in private. Not with me, Pop. With Miss Manning. Miss Manning, this is Pop. I mean, Mr. Charlie Chan, Miss Manning. Oh, you're the Mr. Chan I came to see. Uh, most flattered. Mr. Chan, I want you to investigate my stepfather's death. Oh, really, sorry. Have no time for private cases. Oh, but your son promised to help me. Oh. He promised. Then perhaps we better speak in privacy of my rooms upstairs. Chan family always keep promises. Did you see that lady with Charlie Chan? Yes, sir, I do. You know, she looks familiar to me for some reason. Well, oh, she should. Why? Pictures of her and her mother were all over the front pages a few months ago. Yeah? Yeah. You remember that Manning murder? That's Leah Manning. Of course, of course. Oh, right, sure. <laughs> well, come on, get going. Stop dallying, will you? Stop dallying. Yeah, they're talking. Listen. Leah Manning is talking to Charlie Chan. Yeah. The big shot detail. Here at the Francis Hotel. Okay. Yeah, I'll tail him and call you back later. Uh, this Mr. Chan is number three son, Tommy, who should be at University of California, but who for some strange reason now out on parole. 
for good behavior. Mm. Please be seated. Thank you. Now, what can I do for you? Mr. Chan, I wouldn't be here if it weren't for a book. It's the most horrible murder mystery ever written. Any detective will tell you all mystery novels most horrible. I know, but this one's different. It tells of the murder of my stepfather, but it accuses my mother of the crime. What a case, Pop. Her stepfather was killed in a locked room in his own house. No weapon was ever found, and the police never solved the mystery. Most interesting. Who handled the case? Harvey Dennis. That is a detective lieutenant, Harvey Dennis. He was in charge of investigation. Presume he is son of once famous Captain Harvey Dennis of San Francisco Police? That's right. Oh, I knew his father well. When this occurred? Last October. By January, we'd nearly forgotten all about it. And then two weeks ago, this horrible book came out. It's supposed to be fiction, Mr. Chan, but it describes our home and everyone in it. It flatly states that no one but my mother could have committed the murder. Authors sometimes take strange liberties. What is name of unkind book? Murder by the Dam. It's written by Dr. Paul Recknick. Somewhat noted criminologist. Yes, that's what makes it worse. People are going to believe the book, and it's all a lie. The book even accuses Harvey of trying to cover up the truth because he fell in love with me. Did he fall in love with you? <laughs> I think we both did. Well, I just finished government business here. I must leave for Cleveland 48 hours from midnight tonight. Not much time to solve a mystery the police can solve in six months. Oh, but Mr. Chan, would you use what time you have? We'll do humble best, Miss Manning. Thank you so much, Mr. Chen. We'll first read Strange Book by Dr. Recknick, and we'll call upon you later. Goodbye. Goodbye. Now, why are you here? Gosh, Pop, you don't seem glad to see me. Why are you here? Uh, I guess I better unpack. I got a present for you, Pop. Jigsaw puzzle, you never work out. Your allowance been paid for next three months. No loans, no dough. That's okay, Pop. This is on the house. We'll put puzzle together when I have first spare five minutes. That's what you think. Now, question still remain. Why are you here? Everything's okay, Pop. Why are you playing hooky from expensive college education? Well, I thought you'd be glad to see me. And besides, didn't I get you a swell case? Every time you appear, I have a swell case of assorted troubles. Now tell me, what did you do when you recognized Chan? I got rid of him in a hurry. Brushed him off, just like that. Uh-huh. Then, uh, how come your meter's still running? Oh, my meter went up that. Hmm? Good crazy. He left without paying his fare. Murders or no murders. I'm going to collect my money before I bumped into bankruptcy. <laughs> Must first locate strange novel, Murder by Madame. You're lucky to have your assistant on hand, Pop. Assistant? That you? Sure. Your assistance about as welcome as water in a leaking ship. But you've always said that two men could find a clue quicker than one. Where is other man? Do not see other man. Other man should be back in school where he belongs. This is the third bookstore we've visited. What a funny way to solve a mystery. You talk like rooster who thinks son come up just to hear him crow. Yes? You have a passenger here? Mm -mm, I come to collect him one. What's the name, please? Uh, Mr. Charlie Chan. Yeah, I'm sorry, he's not in. Mm, if he ain't in, that means that I'm out. I've almost five dollars. Yeah. Thank you. I'll wait. Uh, uh, miss, we'll take this book. That'll be two dollars. Shall I wrap it? No, thank you. Thank you. There's a gentleman outside that wants to see you. Oh, that must be Mr. Chan. Uh, thank you very much. You're entirely welcome. Do call again. Ready? Hello, Mr. Chan. Birmingham Brown, huh? Yes, sir, that's me. Oh, Birmingham? Get this hack out of here in a hurry. And here's a little souvenir for you. Yes, sir. Mm, I forgot to thank the gentleman. Give 
give it to me. Hello? Uh, are you calling back so soon? Oh, he is, huh? Okay, you stay right on, Chan. If he gets too nosy, let us know. Chan. Charlie Chan? Yeah. So what? You weren't kidding, Cat, huh? That Charlie Chan's really on the top. Yeah, but he's nothing to worry about. Chan's no flat foot. He's the kind you've got to worry about. Forget it, Carl. Chan's being trailed wherever he goes. Yeah, just trailing him isn't going to help us. Yes, it will. We'll be way ahead of him and ready to stop him if he gets too close. Carl, where's your twin brother going to? I don't know. I don't trust him. <laughs> Neither do I. Come in. Uh, Mr. Chang, friendship is friendship, but you forgot... Oh, Mr. Chan, don't look at me like that. You give me the cold feet all over. Birmingham Brown, how are you? I'm minus of a taxi cab fare of $4.90. Birmingham, you live in such very great rush. Excuse, please, Birmingham. Uh, telephone. Hello? Charlie Chan speaking. Uh, you mean Manning murder? Is your dad investigating another murder? Uh-huh. You have information regarding Sam? If you want to solve the Manning case, come to see me right away. See you where, please? Oh, what name? I'll be there shortly. Thank you very much, Mr. Cosos. We'll need taxi cab again, Birmingham. Solution of murder near at hand. Murder, he says. This cop is six months old, Birmingham. Oh, I ain't afraid of no six months old cop. Who said that? <clears throat> Free speech is gonna get me in trouble yet. Mm. I'd rather be in than here. What are we here for, Pop? I'm here for information concerning Manning murder. Looks like very poor information, Bureau. 
man was supposed to meet me here. Oh. It's okay, Bob. He's still waiting. But he's dead. Short time ago. Oh, Lieutenant Detective Harvey Dennis. That's what we need, a detective. Not Lieutenant, Mr. Chan. Not since the Manning case. Just an ordinary member of the Homicide Squad. I knew your father very well. Worked with him years ago. You resemble him greatly. Harvey Dennis? He's the detective Miss Manning told us about. Have a chair. Bottleneck of progress is number three son, Tommy. Star Telephone Headquarters that you were about to reopen the case, Mr. Chan. It's no use. We worked on it for six months and got nowhere. Perhaps I worked a little while and get somewhere. Excuse. Would like to ask a question. Why you come here now? To tell you the truth, Mr. Chan, I've been trading you ever since I heard you were going to reopen this case. As a matter of fact, I want to work on it with you. Glad to have you with us, Mr. Dennis. Wish could say same for you. I've already learned something. Came here for information regarding Manning murder, and I find this. Kirk Kazas. What's happened? What's he got to do with the Manning case? You know that man? Sure. He specializes in stolen goods, particularly gems. Mm -hmm. Glad I run out of whistles. Anyway, I can get some music. <laughs> Turn out your light. Turn them out. <laughs> Are you afraid? <laughs> Are you kidding? Wonder why dead man keeps so much bread. Stale. Hard as a rock. Stale, hard. And very heavy. Bread very strangely cut. Such bad come to us all. I don't know, sir. Wrap all three for evidence. Yes, sir. What's keeping you all so long? It's all over. Look, they're behind the table. Oh, behind the table. I wonder what is he talking about? <laughs> I knew it. Me the chair, he knew the murder. Maybe I was wrong after all. You were waiting for someone? Yes, sir. And matter of fact, that I've been... How come you walking around? Don't you know you dead? Ah! The dead man. He's outside, but he ain't dead. Dead man still here, still dead. Still there. Still here, still there. Hmm. Instead of spots, I got corpses in front of my eyes. Like the police, you don't believe my book. You're wrong. Think you can dig up another suspect? <laughs> you can. If your book solved Manning case, why Mrs. Manning not under arrest? Not enough technical evidence. Dennis here was in charge of the case. He took out time to fall in love with the daughter of the house, and so he didn't uh, find all the evidence. You pull that too often, me. If you do it once more, so help please, me. Please, please. Bull in China's shop is gentle creature, 
compared to detectives who make past that man wearing glasses. Why you think Mrs. Manning commit crime? Nobody else could have done. In your book, you explain everything so easily, except what become of murder gun. I've always had my own ideas on what happened to that gun. Yes, you've had your ideas, and you've talked about them, too. But now get this, and for the last time, I never found that gun. Uh -huh. Now wait, I fell in love. Sure, I'm still that way, but I'm still a detective, too. I searched that house from top to bottom. There was no 38 in it. If my book is wrong, then the Manning case cannot be solved. It defies solution. That's what you think. When Pop takes a case, Pop goes a case. What? Peculiar trait in Chen family. Children all think Pop pretty good. I'm speaking as an expert criminologist. Expert is merely a man who makes quick decisions. And is sometimes right. I'll bet you ten to one I'm right on the Manning case, and you're wrong. Ten to one? Excuse, please, while I check Chan family finances. Take them, Pop. Mom said everyone in the Chan family is working, and now we have more money than brains. I'm not gambling, man, but ten to one not to be sneered at. If I am wrong, I will write check for $2,000 to Chinese war relief. But... If I am right... If you're right, I'll send the same organization a check for $20,000. Uh, Reckney, I'm a witness to this. Oh, uh, you uh, hear about a man named Kazos murdered last night? Yes, I read about it this morning. Strangled. Murderer wore gloves. Yeah, I figured as much. <laughs> When the police said that the throat bruises were no use as evidence, figured he wore a tight-fitting glove, uh, like that. You always wear glove? Ever since I burnt my hand badly some years ago. May interest you to know murderer of Thomas Manning also wore gloves. Thank you so much. Hello, Leah. Hello. Good morning, Mr. Chen. Happy to see you again, Miss Manning. Thank you. This is the study where it happened. I think I'd do a little investigating of my own. Dr. Rechnick's book, surprisingly accurate in describing scene of crime. Too accurate to be pleasant, Mr. Chen. Doctor, a visit in this room here? Once. He came here the day after the killing with the inspector. We had access to the files and all the photographs. Hey, Pop, they're the same as... According to book, um, secret panel should be here. My gosh, Pop, are you a mind reader? If mine, not too small. Ms. Manning's room is just above us. The head of the stairs. Police find nothing here? Only the prints of Mrs. Manning, Lee and Carolyn, on the handrails. Harvey. Harvey, that's her mother's room. I won't have it, you understand? I was your husband's partner, and the mystery of his death nearly ruined my business. I want no one, Chinese detective or otherwise. Reopening that case. Please, Mr. Deacon, let the chair alone. No. What's the matter, Mother? Did you bring Chen into this case? I did. I won't have it. I want the case dropped completely. Why? Excuse, please. I am Charlie Chen at your service. You wish investigation halted? She does. 
You will do as Leah wishes, if you please, Mr. Chairman. Thank you so much. Now you will explain why you wish Manning case dropped? Excuse? Wait, please. You will explain why you wish the mystery of Thomas Manning's death to remain unsolved? I'm trying to keep my business from being ruined by more bad publicity. That is excellent diamond. Tough. I don't get it, Pop. Fear you are weak limb to which no family tree may point with pride. They're the same as those we found at Carlos' place. You are smart enough to keep eyes open? You bet. Do likewise. Keep mouth shut. Uh, nothing changed in study since night of murder? Nothing, Mr. Chan. When the police finished in there, we kept the study locked. In his book, Dr. Rechnick claims your mother's second marriage was unhappy one. He married my mother for money. If she'd been happy, it would have made no difference, but when he died, I was almost glad. I tell you, Pop, I wouldn't trust that Rechnick as far as I can see a mic. You put two and two together and get results bigger than national debt. <laughs> well, what are you laughing at? Because I hear two meters ticking. It must be inflation. Two meters? I don't hear anything. Turn it that alley, quick. Yes, sir. Quick, get out. That was my cab. We'll need new cab in about half hour. You think Army would at least loan me a tank? Come. Hey, you want to rent a bike to three passengers? What? Yeah, you see, Tommy, he can sit here, and I'll pedal, and Mr. Chan. No. Thank you, just the same. To see you is always very great pleasure, most honorable Wu Sung. But must confess, at this moment, I'm on hurried business visit. I hope you did not pay too much for my wretched work. Your work always most distinctive. I recognize it at once. That is why I am here. Your work, most honorable Wu Sung, always noted for great artistry, but also for secret compartments. Of course, of course. If art is useful, it is worth more. Look. Glass. There's been a mistake somewhere. Most valuable mistake. This is diamond. Look, here's another one. These must be stolen property. Be 
believe part of famous Kulinar collection stolen a year ago in Chicago. Look, Pop, here's some more just like them. And this one of a cat. Cat? Uh, one moment, excuse please. Uh, this also have secret compartment? Yes. But how did this cat ever get over to the Manning's house? This cat never left this room, but one like it was sold. Excuse. Uh, you have record of those who purchased statues? Of course. All of them were sold to Sea Thai Art Company, a small firm with headquarters at Shore End Pier. Fleet Pier now closed for duration of war. Many thanks for our very great assistance. Hey, why are we going anyway? To Shore End Pier to investigate an important case. Mm. Just you and me? That's right. You can be my assistant. Now you cooking with gas. What kind of case is it? It ain't no murder case, I hope. Well, murder is just a sideline in this case. Oh, well, if that's all it is, I ain't got nothing to worry about. Boy, you is crazy. So am I. Police deduced nothing from lone figure of Bishop left on chessboard? Nothing. Bishop. Bishop. Well, this is it. Sea Tide Art Company. Well, it's closed, thank goodness. You can't get in there. This thing's locked, see? Now you're going through holes. Hey, did we come all the way out here just to see this? Well, I guess we won't find any clues here. This investigation was short and snappy. Uh, glad to see you again, sir. Where am I, sir? What's the matter? The dead man, he's on the loose again. Oh, you're silly. Don't tell me. Go ahead and look for yourself. Go ahead. Don't stop here. Hey, Birmingham, you're right. He ain't dead. But you should be. You're right, Birmingham. Now, he's a ghost. Do you believe me now? Do you believe me now? Where he is at? We shouldn't be. Motion seconded. It's gone. Maybe we didn't see him after all. to do is to scrap out of you. Boy, you is reading my mind. I'll drive you in, sir. You seem worried about something. We are, Mr. Chan. We know that you have to leave by midnight tomorrow. If you leave without solving the case, what do we do then? You get married. Mr. Chan, with the threat of gossip hanging over us, we couldn't possibly do that. Fear of future is wrong for young people in love. You should get married and raise large family. Once you have large family, all other troubles mean nothing. Hey, that's a swell idea. What? Well, isn't it? Oh, my God. Swell idea about getting married seems to be unanimous. Mr. Deacon. Well, what do you want? 
Still wearing valuable diamonds. I'm busy. What do you want? Excuse, please. You are preparing to leave? Now, look, if you're here about Manning's murder, I know nothing about it. I'm here to inquire about Seatide Art Company, which you own. No. No, that's wrong. Excuse. Have checked ownership. I did own it once, but... Uh... Wait, I'll get the books and I'll prove to you that I'm no longer connected with it. Thank you so much. Empty. Suspect that room also empty now. strong enough for four men. What 
is it? Oxazone, very deadly gas. Oh, hello, Chen. I was just looking for your room. I forgot the number on my way up. You come up in elevator? No, no, I walked. <laughs> Never trust elevator. What's going on here? Oxazone. That stuff to fool around with, Chan. Person who used this not fooling. How are you feeling? My head seems to be spinning. Mm. And you're all right. Everything back to normal. We've been gassed with poison gas. You wish to speak with me? I was just wondering uh, how you're coming along in your attempt to solve this case. Also wonder the same thing. Stuck already, huh? Never start anything unless I see end of road. How are you coming along to date? Did not say which end of road I could see. You're stuck already and you won't admit it. When you give up completely, let me know. Mm -hmm. He sure did leave with the breeze, didn't he, Mr. Chan? What's the matter, Pop? Three murders, all different. A dog cannot chase three rabbits at the same time. Man, in case like modern highway, sooner or later come to detour. Detour. Detour at end. Correct pieces of puzzle, please. Well, I've had you for a while. Next time you try this, you experience sudden collision in rear end of pants. But you help solve man in case. Hmm? Huh? Man in case like puzzle. Wrong pieces appear. Real puzzle concern Mr. Manning. Kazas and Deacon represent wrong pieces, the detour. I don't get it. I mean, I pass too. Only midnight tonight to solve three murders. Three murders, he said. Have you lost your nerve, Birmingham? Since I've seen that ghost, I ain't got no nerve to lose. Uh, so sorry for this intrusion, Mrs. Manning. But believe statue of cat once reposed on this desk. Uh, yes, there was such a statue, Mr. Chan. It belonged to my, to Mr. Manning. I had it removed after his death. Where is that you now? That's what those two men asked me. What two men? I don't know. I never saw them before. They were here 20 minutes ago, asking about that cat thing. They see cat statue? No, sir. I never left them inside the door. Must see statue at once, Mrs. Manning. It's in the closet of the rear hall. I'll get it for you, Mr. Tonight, Caroline. Oh, nothing. What are you doing? I'm going to be busy till midnight chasing murders. Chasing murders? Crazy, ain't it? You know how to work statue, Mrs. Manning? I don't understand. We'll demonstrate. This is famous Kalinor diamond, stolen a year ago. No wonder other men seek to find that statue. Case almost finished. Know now who killed your husband, Mrs. Manning. Oh, 
What's the idea? You quit trailing Chen? He went to Manning's place. He got the statue of the cat. How do you know? Well, I saw him look at the diamond when he got in his car. He took it to the police? No, he's got it with him. When I saw where he was going, I cut ahead of him. He sent it for here, Ken. Well, well. Let's invite him in. That's what a dead man went for. Huh? We'd go that way, too. You'll remain by car. Yes, sir, but gladly. Golly, it's dark in here, Pop. Shh, quiet, quiet. This is a swell place to meet a ghost. More dead men. See one with no head? Uh-huh. He remind me of you. Turn back here. diamond for which Mr. Manning was killed. Too bad you cannot find valuable gem. So sorry, but whereabouts of diamond must remain military secret. Don't make a false move. Hiya, Paul. What are you doing in there? Like Poppy, who come to smell subway third rail, you will receive complete information in a few moments. Behind you. Get in. Get in. Now, Chan, where's the diamond? Don't give it to him, Pop. Oh, so you had it when you came in, huh? Come on, where is it? Must refuse to answer. Where's that diamond? You talk or I'll rip the skin right off your face. Touch me again, I not even open my lips. Out boy, Pop. They can't make a chant talk. You'll talk now, Chan, and in a hurry when you see what happens to your boy. <laughs> How do you like that? Don't tell him anything, Pop. You see, third degree does not work. You haven't seen anything yet. Ah, we... Easy, do the trick. Taste it like rat. Fun house. Sure ain't no fun on the outside. So I guess I'll see what it's like on the inside. I wonder what's keeping Chan. He said he'd be here by 9 o'clock. He told Carolina he was going to the fun house on Shore and Pier. Now that's what puzzles me. I wonder why he wants to go there. Sure, I don't know. Now that I'm in here, I don't know where I'm going or where I've been. Now that you lost, what you gonna do? You know why I come in this place and now? A jitterbug and a skeleton. Now I've seen everything. This is just like walking around into the middle of a nightmare. You can't make a chant off. 
That won't work. We'll try something else. Get out for a diamond, Birmingham, quick. What? Untie hands. Hurry. Thank you for letting me share your private graveyard. I can't make it out. Get way under. Draw in feet. Maybe you'll be safe till head clears. Stay there. No sign of him. <laughs> I distinctly heard something. Tells me you're waiting for Mr. Chan. He was supposed to be back here by 9 o'clock, Mother. It's 9.30 now. A Birmingham, um, Mr. Chan's chauffeur, said they were going to chase murderers. Murderers? That settles it. I'm going down there. I'll go with you, Harvey. the indicator and yell which maze they're in. Oh, yeah? Look at that. Can't grab them, we'll get rid of them. I got a friend who lives in here, Mr. Chan. What's up, buddy? Birmingham. Look out for that first step, Mr. Chan. It's a dinner. Same treatment. Yes, sir. One moment, Mr. Chan. Oh. Mr. Chan, I ruined your flashlight. Even trade. His light out, too. Mr. Chan, I'll kill the ghost. Oh, there you are. I've been looking for you, Mr. Chan. 
Uh, was just going to find you. Give me that gun. You ain't going anywhere anymore. Oh, you found him, eh? Yeah. The cops are all over the place. Surprise party continue. You two will be dead when they get here. I've heard the same before. But Charlie Chan's still alive and kicking. Hold it, you. Stop that moving. I ain't moving, mister. That's just goose pimple galloping all over me. Come on, the cops are coming. Let them come. I'll get them, too. Chan's turn comes first. Hey! Get guns. Have me beat up, will you? Over here. All of you. Come on. You two. You two. All right. Goes on here, Mr. Chan. Your arrival saved me call for very necessary police. Have solved three murders with excellent aid of very fine assistance. Snap them on. What am I doing with these things? What about Karzas? Were there two of them? This one, Carl Karzas, twin brother of murdered Kurt Karzas. Gannett, Catherine. Can arrest all for grand larceny and murder. You can't prove that. Most easily. But you spoke of three murders. Murder of Kirk Karzas, Webster Deacon, and Thomas Manning. All work of these people have found final proof. When you first attacked me, I hide diamond. Excuse. In your pocket. I also find murder gloves worn by Strangler and killer of Thomas Manning. They're not mine. They belong to Deacon. Exactly. But you wore them to strangle Deacon. Take them away. All right, boys. Mr. Chan, you said those men killed my stepfather. Thomas Manning and his business partner, Webster Deacon, were connected with original theft of Kalinor Diamond. And Manny was a crook. But he double-crossed his business partner and steal Diamond for himself. Oh, then that was the motive for the murder. Mr. Chan, how did you find all these things out? Well, that's what I'd like to know. Well, you see, Lieutenant... Uh, not Lieutenant, uh, remember, Mr. Chan? Uh, but you be Lieutenant again, maybe. Perhaps Captain, for solving celebrated Manning case. I had nothing to... Uh, this is how you did it. Observe. This is gun that killed Thomas Manning. I take it tonight from Catherine. But initials on gun are W.D. Webster Deacon. Why, that means Deacon killed Manning. And Manning leave on chessboard clue to police who kill him. What? Lone figure of Bishop. Oh, but there was no one by the name of Leah. Of course. That lone figure, that lone chess man, was a bishop. Don't you see? In other words, a church officer. And Deacon is same thing. Deacon wearing gloves, locked study door, and killed Thomas Manning. He then hide in secret stairway. When you, your mother, and Carolina enter room, Deacon ascend secret stairway to your mother's bedroom and out front door. Later, he killed Karzos. Because us, cause us about ready to inform. Yes, but uh, why was Deacon himself murdered? Because Deacon, now thoroughly frightened, was leading me here to real criminals. So, Dr. Rechnick was wrong. When you see him, you will please say he must write new book in big hurry. Also, must send check for $20,000 to Chinese war relief in same big hurry. Oh, Mr. Chan, how can Mother and I ever thank you for Oh, you not necessary. I suggest you hasten to your mother and explain final outcome of case. Goodbye. Where is that exit? Wherever there's a way in, it must be a way out. Gosh, Pop, in spite of his book, Rettig was not a killer at all, huh? You are like turtle. After everything all over, you stick head out and find truth right under your very nose. Oh, this must be it. Uh-oh, my pillow boy again. I quit. There just ain't no way out of here. Hey, Bert. 
Birmingham. Oh, yeah, I am. All ready to go, Birmingham. Oh, Mr. Chen, you ain't half as red as I am. I've been running so much till I feel as pale as a ghost. But so long, Colonel. I'm glad to meet you. Thank you. And if you believe that, you is crazy. 